afternoon, Friday, Shabbat coming up. We should uh, have a Shabbat coming in in a, another hour or so here in Israel. I was uh, watching, of course, on, uh, on the internet, the uh, people in South Africa, the judges who are as big a kangaroo court as uh, judges in America handling Trump. Kangaroo courts seem to be, these days, the thing. You make your decision, then you have a court, but the court means nothing in terms of the decision you already made because everything is the way it's supposed to be according to the woke society that we live in. South Africa has essentially insulted all of the Holocaust. Six million Jews have died in the Holocaust because of racism of the, on the part of the Germans. And now they've accused us of committing, committing a Holocaust in Gaza. Oh, they did mention, oh, by the way, uh, you know, they should release your prisoners right away. But first, get out of Gaza, remove all of your soldiers from Gaza. Let international committees go in to determine how much genocide went down there by you. Well, that's nice to know that we did genocide, just like the Germans did to us. Um, as far as I can see, this is the most incredible insult that can be possibly leveled against the Jewish people. Um, what will we do? Well, I know what I'd do. I'd say... This is to the court in South Africa. And I do hope that our government in Israel will do the same in a more diplomatic fashion. But we do know the handwriting's on the wall. We better get in there as fast as possible and conquer the little bit of uh, Gaza that's left to conquer, free our hostages, and kill or capture the terrorists that are responsible for what happened. Personally, I say, well, kill them. Don't even let them go to trial, but then we're a civilized nation, unlike the South Africans. Kind of bad news, but uh, I want to say Shabbat Shalom from Israel.